Moving on to the third plate in this final section called indoctrination, let's start with uh, Jay-Z again and his flashing of symbols. We have seen these before. Here's the sign of the benediction. There's the peace sign, which is similar to the benediction sign. Then we have uh, Il Cornuto. He wears Christ crucified with the uh, thorns. They do that. It does not mean they're Christian at all. Here's the Gray Album, uh, which has a track on it uh, that says 666 Murder, Murder, Jesus. You can find that on the internet for yourself. Going back to Jesus Can't Save You, Life Starts When the Church Ends. Um, Lucifer and his song called Lucifer. And you have now collaborations with Rick Ross. And you can see the obvious uh, Freemason sonic symbolism. Uh, it's all about the occult. And Roca wear, and of course he's wearing the Founding Fathers. All of them were Freemasons. Now Kanye West, his very good friend, partner, and you can see his uh, using the same uh, adornments. He also uses Horus here, and this is Rolling Stones, and you can see now he's claiming himself to be crucified. And then Horus, now his fascination with Europe. I'm sorry, not Europe, but Egypt. And then he wears the pyramid rings. There's the pyramid rings there. And now his uh, uh, video called Power. And this has a lot of occult symbology here. There's uh, twin pillars here. There's the light emanating. Um, you can probably find some uh, symbology going you also have the halo and this is not a very good image but anyway uh, there is the uh, x-rated version as well and you can find that but uh, all of those uh, videos that are weird like that have symbology that are completely occultic and now moving on with Lady Gaga she is now sitting in a worshipful master's chair you see that Worshipful Master's Chair here, an example of that. And here is the square and the compass. And in this this case, the square is represented. And, of course, appropriately, she's the female. And, of course, Hello Kitty adorns her. Uh, moving on, again, here's the Worshipful Master's Chair. That square, she's between the two pillars of Freemasonry. She is now on the single pillar of Freemasonry you saw in the previous plate. She is now dressed as Anubis, the god of the dead, and the underworld uh, in Egypt. Now she is dressed as Diana, and you can see all the breasts here, and she is now representing that as well. Judas, Lady Gaga as Judas. Uh, she's not Judas, but uh, in this case... Oh, this is Lady Gaga Judas, and of course she's in love with Judas. You can see the replacement of Jesus with Judas here. And the sexual connotations and the lyrics. Oh, 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 I'm in love with Judas. In the most biblical sense, I am beyond repentance. Fame, hooker, prostitute, wench, vomits her mind. But in the cultural sense, I just speak in future tense. Judas, kiss me if offense. Don't wear your condom next time. I want to love you, but something's pulling me away from you. Jesus is my virtue, and Judas is the demon I cling to, I cling to. Pretty obvious. Now let's look at Katy Perry. This is E.T. Genesis 6, sons of God or angels uh, and fallen angels coming on to the daughters of men, creating Nephilim. And now look at the connotation between aliens and uh, fallen angels. Katy Perry and Kanye West is, West is in this video. I got a dirty mind. I got filthy ways. I'm trying to bathe my ape in your milky way. Sexual connotation. I'm a legend. I'm irreverent. I'll be uh, a reverend. So I'll, I'll be uh, so far up. We don't give a F. Coming to the danger zone. Uh, step into the fantasy. You are not invited to the other side of sanity. They call on me an alien, a big-headed astronaut, another sexual connotation. Um, maybe it's because your boy Yeezy got 
ass a lot. Of course, Obama says his favorite is Yeezy. So now, looking at the lyrics of what Katy Perry is, you can see the demonic, now reptilian eyes, fantasizing reality, showing you that aliens are nothing but uh, fantasy. You're so hypnotizing. Could you be the devil? Could you be an angel? This is They know what aliens are. And in the Christian realm, those who are in the know, they know that we know that aliens are demonic entities, fallen angels. And so now the connotation, could you be the devil? Could you be an angel? You're so, uh, you're touch magnetizing, feels like I'm floating, leave my body glowing. They say, be afraid. You're not like the others, futuristic lover, different DNA. Now the sons of God coming on to the daughters of men, changing the DNA, created Nephilim or giants. That's in Genesis 6. Uh, they don't understand you, or you're from a whole nother world, a different dimension, understanding they're interdimensional rather than extraterrestrial. You open my eyes and I'm ready to go, lead me into the light. Freemasonry and going into the light, Satan transforms himself into an angel of light. Lucifer, meaning light bearer. We have all of this connotation, kiss me, kiss me, infect me with your loving, fill me with your poison or your DNA. Take me, take me, want to be your victim, ready for abduction. So understanding the whole idea behind alien abduction, boy, you're an alien, you're touch so foreign, it's supernatural, extraterrestrial, you're so supersonic, want to feel your power, stun me with your laser, your kiss is cosmic, every move is magic. Boy, you're an alien, you're touched so foreign, it's supernatural, extraterrestrial. This is transcendental, uh, and you can continue with the lyrics. Supernatural. Now, what they show, and Kanye West in a, uh, in a uh, space vehicle, then they have, of course, the a quintessential alien gray looking, showing the DNA. DNA is language. And the alteration of the DNA by the angelic fallen angels. She represents Earth. She is tribal. The red woman with tribal gear, gear uh, or uh, dress and uh, cosmetics. And now she's touched by the alien. And you can see the transformation into the reptilian. Showing all of this uh, in flashes of uh, animals having sex. And then... This is Kanye's lyrics again. I know a bar out in Mars where they drive in spaceships instead of cars. A cop a Prada suit about the stars. Getting stupid high straight up in the jars. Pocket on Shrek. Rockets on deck. Tell me what's next. Alien sex. I'm a disrobe you. Then I'm a probe you. See, I abducted you. So I tell you what to do. I tell you what to do, what to do, what to do. They will be in charge. Kiss me, kiss me, infect me with your loving, fill me with your poison. This should shock anybody. And here she is now a hybrid deer type Baphomet hybrid creature. And here is the albino man in a, in a new uh, world after it's been destroyed. This is what the New World Order is about. It's yes, it's fantasized on television and in the media. And here you have it. And this Katy Perry coming out with a movie this year, 2012. She's big. And she garners your tweens. Look at and teens. And she's the teenage dream. Here's this triangle. Uh, this is um, uh, last Friday night. Braces, acting like a teenager. And, of course, her connotation with the quintessential mind-controlled sex slave, Marilyn Monroe. And you see the uh, black and white checkerboard symbolism in that commercial. Now, moving on to Nicki Minaj, Out of My Mind. This shows you about mind control and how they ritually abuse. These are fashion shoots uh, that show you the types of rituals in plain sight. Out of My Mind, this is all about schizophrenia the splitting of the mind and the attaching of demons in this uh, 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 connotation. Now you see um, uh, alien spacecraft, you see the Eye of Lucifer uh, in the, uh, uh, what is it, graffiti back there. Now you're looking at Nicki Minaj, she's in a straitjacket. People in cells, in insane asylums, 
Here's your police state doctors. Looks like Nazi Germany. This actually happens. And of course, these people in cells, this person actually comes to the bars and shows you that he's demonically possessed, which shows the demon. Fantasy, my goodness. This is reality on 2D screen, but they are showing you what they're doing. This is beta programming for sex slave when they do wear this print, which is a leopard print or cat type print. And you can see that they're taking this person away, and she is saying, let's be quiet about this. Of course, their dress is in the sexual nursing dress. I'm not going to uh, read all the lyrics, but you can read this lyrics, and you can pause the screen. But out of my mind, out of my mind, I'm effing, uh, out of my effing mind. Showing you now various personalities and how they do it in the lyrics. This is not art. This is indoctrination into what they do and showing you in plain sight what they do and having you believe that it's not reality. Now, of course, she has her uh, duality uh, methods, single eye, eye in the triangle. All right. Now, uh, variants of doing that single eye symbolism, self-possessed, and of course, her Demon is Roman, and we saw this in the Grammy Awards. We'll see that uh, a little bit later.